Hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the like if you like the content. I'm going to use the Balance Builder Roulette tool amongst other gameplays outside of the tool. If I see anything else developing that's not within the tool, I'll um, tell you about it and I'll place bets that way as well. So I'm going to do a bit of freestyle play and using this uh, Balance Builder Roulette tool. So click to play, input my balance. My balance is 609, which is quite high by the way, 52. This started with uh, £25 this started from, now I'm at 609, that was yesterday. I had some wins on the slots. Now I'm going to play at, um, I'm going to play at 10 pence, because there's no need for me to go big really. So I'm going to go with 10 pence, submit. I'll leave on the profit and stop to just give you a demonstration of how it works. Click submit. Neighbor number down to one, already reduced. Now we're going to wait for the ball to drop in on a number. Then we select the number that drops in. Once the number drops in, we'll be able to see what other numbers we're going to be betting on using the racetrack. So that was number one. One's a great number, 147. These are the best set of numbers to cover after one drops in, 147. These are the highest rated numbers. After playing roulette, whenever I play roulette, this tool here, this is the best set of numbers to bet on in this tool. So whenever number one drops in, you cover 147. Sometimes it'll go to 13 or 36, which you don't want to see, unless you've got that covered. So click the tick on the tool. That'll tell you what numbers you've got covered. All nine numbers. One, four, seven, with one number either side of each number. Spin number one. Tells you your position with the numbers. Uh, but yeah. And that's one pocket away from number 28. So I lost. Click continue, number 12. 12, 30, 14 is the next bet. Click the tick on the tool. So I'm currently doing a flat rate staking plan. So a flat rate staking plan, it involves the, the spin cost to be the same every, the total bet to be the same every throughout. It's always the same value. That's a flat rate. If I do negative or positive progression, then you're going to be increasing um, your starting total bet. It's going to, it's going to be getting, getting bigger every time you place a bet. Lost, click continue, 17, 31, 23. I think this next bet is going to land. So, the reason being that I think this next bet is going to land is because of the 34. It's been out twice in the history and that was 17. 34 has been out twice. I think 34 is going to land again and that will bring in the neighbour of 17, which is what I've got covered here. So that's what I'm expecting to see land on this spin. I could be totally wrong. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be random, isn't it? Roulette. I'm at 17, 31, 23. It's 26. And I, I was going to say that's the other area that it's going to land in if I miss. So 26. 26, 23, 25. This is now a double up. And we've also got the, co the 17 covered. So... A double up so we click on the chip on the tool then we click on the times two and then we click on the tick so 26 23 25 one number either side it's times two the chip value per number so now we're playing at a spin cost instead of 90 pence it's double it's one pound 80 this is spin four this is now negative progression that's number 20 so click lost click continue select number 20 four and 28 So this is now three times, so click the chip times three, tick. So now we're saying this chip value, multiply that by three per number, costing now £2.70. This is spin number five, this is negative progression. It's okay, I think it's okay to do negative progression when you're starting up at 10 pence stake and you've got a balance like this, but uh, this is just to get one hit to get into profit. And that's done it, there you go, 12. Hit on my fifth spin, click one, I've just made £3.60. Click continue. Now I've got a balance of 
and uh, some statistics. So I played the Balance Builder tool on this table. I got five spins where I got my hit. <coughs> it took me five spins to get my hit. Ten pence start with a negative progression, starting at 609.52. That's my starting balance column. Highest and lowest it went. 6.13 high, 6.02 low. £3.60 profit from that table. I'm going to switch tables now. And we're going to see if I can get another win somewhere else. If I, if I were to repeat the bet, that would have been another win, by the way, on this table. <clears throat> so if I'd have stayed on that table and placed another, played the same um, setup, I would have won again there. Um, we're going to jump on this one. We're going to see how this one's playing. So menu, click to play, input my new balance of 61312. Submit, 50p stake. That's the minimum for this table. Submit. Leave on the profit. Stop. Submit. Neighbor number's already reduced. Click that message. Set this to HD. And then whatever number drops in. Number three. Click on that. Three, twenty-three, and two's the bet. Three's here. Twenty-three's there. Two's there. Four pound fifty. Wait for the table to take my money. I would say, so what I'm doing when I'm playing roulette and the numbers are telling me, the t the, the tools tell me what numbers to cover, I'm looking in the history to see if you've seen if any of those numbers have been out recently. Looking at 36 has been out three times. I'm going to cover 36 in a minute with two numbers either side because 36 neighbours are going to land very soon. 16, that's a miss. Lost, click continue. 16, 16, 15 and 18. So yeah, 16, um, 15 and 18 is the bet, spin number 2. <clears throat> so the reason I'm going to bet on number 36 is because any number that hits 3 times in the last 12 spins, um, if it's not been 2 pockets to the side of that number, it's worth doing it. 25, that's a miss. 25 Good luck. You're welcome to play more. This is now my third bet. My fourth bet will be doubling up. But hopefully I'll hit on this spin. <sighs> so we've had four red black we've had four red numbers in a row in the history. Four reds in the history in a row. So I might be doing zero neighbours as well in a minute. If this is another red number. I might go zero neighbours. So 25, 31 and 3 for a win. 31. No. That's black. It's 29. That's a miss. This is now my fourth bet. So now I'm doubling up. I usually double up on my fourth if I'm not hit on the first three. <laughs> now if I hit on this spin, I get the same value of return if I hit on my first spin at a 50p number, 50p bet per number. So I'm getting £13.50 profit on this spin if it lands. I've got a really good chance of hitting 6 or 27, 13 here because of the 36 hitting three times. That'll do. Oh no. Was that not in my pocket? It was in my pocket. Oh, went to 12. That's not good. 12, 34. This is now three times the chip value. I thought that was in my pocket there. Welcome, welcome, Ginger. So it's a £1.50 bet per number. I'm down by £36. You can see how fast it goes down, you see, on the 50p stake. So I'm down at 36. This is the fifth bet. I'm probably going to hit on this one or the next one. <clears throat> but 12, 30, 14 would be good. One number either side. 11, maybe. Yeah, 36. Oh, fuck off. I don't have that anyway. That's 13. That's your neighbour of the 36 look. Which is the bet I was going to do before. Now I'm at four times the chip value. So this is the point where when, I'm, when I get to four times and I'm £54 in. Just looking for that one hit. 
Um, this is where I think, bloody hell, is it going to hit or not? This it always happens on the fourth bet. Uh, sorry, the four times the chip value. So, I only need to hit once to get into profit. Um, 13, 7, and 1. There you go, 27. Neighbor of the last number. So that is a win. Sixth sixth spin got me a win, £18 profit. Which was good, but you don't want to be betting like that, really. Statistics, I've just made £21.20 in, like, two tables, which is okay, I suppose. Which is pretty decent, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's pretty good, though. So um, I'm going to change tables, and I'm going to try again on a different table, see if I can get another win somewhere else. Uh we're going to try this immersive one because I don't really play this one a lot. Click to play, 631, <clears throat> 12, submit, 50p stake, submit, leave on the profit and stop. 30 just landed, can we get on 30, 35, 20? We can. Video HD, let's go. Click the tick, away we go. So, I'm on 30, 35, and 20, one number either side. This is probably going to hit on my first spin. If it's a red number, I'm going to do zero neighbours, I think, because we'll have five red numbers in a row. There you go, hit on my first spin. I thought I might hit on my first spin. I thought it might be zero neighbours, which I've got 35, 3, and 12, and 3 was out recently, and the 35. So, that's good news. And I thought it also could go back to 30 neighbour, so... This, this was a hit straight away, so that gave me 13.50. So now I'm up to 6.44.62. Took one spin, which is normally what it takes using this tool. Now I've made £35.10. Um, it's five reds and five blacks, you see that? So now what I'm going to do is see more neighbours. So this is a bet outside of the tool. Come on, what's going on? <coughs> So I'm on 12 through to 4. I'm going to do 3 bets on a flat rate. 12 through to 4. And that's 34. That's a miss. So that bet that I won on, that 13.50, I can have 3 bets. And if I hit on one of those 3 bets, I'm going to build my balance even further. So, which is going to be pretty good. So I didn't hit um, zero neighbours. 34 normally likes to repeat, but I'm going to go with zero neighbours on this particular setup. I should probably cover 34 and one number either side of 34, really, as well as doing this bet. Because I'll still get into profit, even if I do that. But I want a little bit more profit. I want to just concentrate on one type of bet rather than mixing them up, which is probably where I come unstuck in my gameplays, really, because I don't... Yeah, there you go. Four. That's a hit. The ball was manipulated there into that number four pocket. So it looked like it was going to hit 34. Or neighbour of. Four is good. So that's £18. Win. Now I'm up to 653.62. That was the five reds, five blacks set up. Move that down to one. We're going to change tables. <coughs> and we're going to try another table now. Um, let's go with, uh, let's go with this one here. Give this a blasting. We'll use the tool, missing uh, the balance builder. So click to play. I think we've got a change of dealer. Change of dealer normally brings in zero neighbours, which is just done. Uh, that was the previous spin from the previous dealer. So I input my balance, 653.62. Submit that. 50p stake. Submit. Leave on the profit and stop. Submit that. 15's landed. Fifteen, sixteen, twenty-seven's the bet. Wait for the casino to take my bet. This tool's running in a separate window. Separate browser window. <coughs> it's just to the side of my um, main casino window. I've already done that. So 15, 16, 27. 16. 14. 14 is a good number. Because that covers the 16. 14, 25, 16. Alright, this, I would expect this one to hit based on what it just did there. 
So they're going to clean the roulette wheel. Mm, don't like that. <clears throat> they're resetting the numbers on the software. That's what they're doing. Clearing the cash out on the, on the numbers on the, on the software. That's what they're doing when they clean the tables. 14, 25, 16. Second bet. Wow, 26. Lost, click continue, 26, 23, 25. So they're going to clean it now, aren't they? 26, 23, 25 is the next bet. On this one, I'm not going to do a... I'm not going to do a negative progression on this table. I'm going to do a flat rate setup. Because I feel this one could be difficult to get a win on potentially so that being the case um only purely because of the numbers that are dropping in and where the positions are of the numbers that are dropping in not nothing else really so and i think it's a good way of showing you what i used to do years ago when i first started playing i used to do a flat rate all the time until i realized where the hits were coming from and what numbers were bringing in the hits with my combo numbers and what have you, so, um, so I'll, I will only double up on my fourth bet if I think one of my combo numbers is about to hit, based on what the previous set of numbers that I've bet on and missed on, uh, the positions of those have landed. So that's what I'm looking at when I'm playing and using this tool, which is something you don't know. So that's a bit of information there. <clears throat> that was a fast clean, wasn't it? Uh, 26, 23, 25. Um, tick. This is spin number three. This will give me £4.50 profit, which I'll take from this table. We'll do one more table after this. In fact, I might do five tables. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do just yet. Let's find out. Ho, ho, ho. I might go back to a small value table. <clears throat> So I'm on 26, 23, 25, one number either side. If this lands 26 again, which is... The potential here is to land 26 again after a table clean. Repeat the number. And it's 15. It's in between. That's good. Lost, click, continue, 15. So this is the flat rate. Now I'm doing a flat rate. 15, 16, 27. So I think this was my first bet, 15, 16, 27. Yeah, it was. Ooh. So, <coughs> I'm going to get... Uh, this is my fourth bet. The fourth bet will always return money back if you win. If you've not hit on your first three spins, your fourth bet will give you money back. So, 15, 16, 27. That's number 22. So, lost, click, continue, 22. 22, Right, I'm going to tell you the number. I'm telling you that I'm going to tell you the spins where I think I'm going to hit on, which I would be normally giving it a double up on or increasing the stake. And this is one of those bets. This is the bet I will be increasing the stake on. The reason for that is the history of numbers are. Um, showing me that it's going towards the zero neighbor which i've got covered and i'm thinking it's going to go away from the 14 neighbor no that's 24 i don't have 24 it didn't go away from the 14 neighbor it went quite close to it so i need to give it a few more spins 24 32 now this is a good bet if you look at the last numbers out 15 22 i've got both 15 and 22 covered. 26 was a number prior to that. I've got the neighbour of that. Um, then we've got 14, 15. I've got the north closest number to 14, 15 is the 16 that I've got there. So this could be a good bet. <coughs> this will only put me in a position where I can have two spins, try and hit again to get into profit if this one lands. So this won't put me into profit, but it'll put me in a closer to getting profit if it lands. 24, 32, 18. 
18's good, there you go. So that's it took me six spins again. That's kind of a common theme at the minute. Click one. Select 18. So now, if I hit on this spin, I get into profit. So if I hit on my sixth spin, and I haven't hit on the previous spins prior, um, <clears throat> this puts me in an opportunity now where I can hit if I, and get into profit on this spin. So this is the only spin now that I can make profit on if I hit. If I lose on this spin, then I would have to hit to get money back, and then it'll give me three extra spins to try and hit again. So this is a really good position, to be fair. 18, 6, 32. 16, we like 16. So that was a miss. So now 16, 15, and 18. So what I think this table's doing, it's going to three sets of numbers, 14, 15, and 16, but pretty much, or eight, uh, in fact, four sets of numbers, 14, 15, 16, and 18, 14, 15, 16, 18, and I've got three of those numbers covered, 15, 16, and 18, I've just not got the 14. So 16 might go to 14, which I don't have covered. But we wanted to go to 18 for a goal back or a repeat on 16 or a shoot across the 6 or 15. So 16, 15, and 18. This will give me money back if I hit 23. So I think that should have been a 16. 23, 331. So it's moving, the ball's moving now. So then now the ball is moving in slightly different. Areas. I've got 14, which is a, a number that keeps hitting. 26 has been out already. Um, 23 just landed. 8 and 10 haven't landed yet. 35, 3, I've not seen those yet. 9, I've not seen. 31, I've not seen. Oh, yeah, 31, I've seen that. 31, 14, both of those. So most of those numbers have got in this spin. I haven't seen in the last 12 spins. So <clears throat> this could be a good thing if it's, it's starting to put in numbers that haven't hit yet. So that see that that looked like it was going to thirty one and it went to the neighbour of nine. So this for me, I am going to double up now. This is a this is a an absolute double up for me. This is going to hit. <coughs> I'm convinced of this hitting. It won't give me profit. Oh no, it will give me profit if it lands over four pound fifty. And. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm just seeing an opportunity here, so that's what I'm taking. This opportunity, I've got um, one pound per number, twenty-two thirty-four zero for profit. There you go, twenty-six. Thank you very much. One four pound fifty took ten spins. So when I see an opportunity, that's when I do um, the double up, basically. So that was the time to do it. Now I've made £39.60 using my roulette tool. This is the balance builder roulette tool. I'm going to change tables one more time. And we're going to play another table. Uh, we're going to play auto roulette. We may as well jump on that. Give this a blasting. See how it works on here. Click to play. Bets, I've please. got a val balance of 6. Whoops. 6, 58. No more bets, please. 12. Submit. I'll play at mm, 20p stake. Submit. Leave on the profit and stop. Submit. And I'll take it from there. So, yeah. 26. There you go. 1, Black. 2, 3, 4, 5. Please. Zero neighbours. Uh, what's the bet? 26. We'll wait for the next spin. <coughs> so this is the auto Close. roulette table. Setting up HD. No more bets, please. Yeah, so this is the auto roulette table and um, using my balance builder tool. Now, what I've just done now, where I've jumped from table to table, trying to get my wins and getting into profit, I don't do that when I'm looking to make money. I just jump on one table, 20. get my profit and stop. Black. That's what I normally Please do. Please place your bets. So 10, 4, 28, double, so it's 20 pence per number. Away we go. Bets closing. So if I hit on my first spin, I get £5.40 profit. No I've got nine bets, numbers please. covered, which is about... Um, I don't know what percentage that is of the table. I can't remember. 
25% of the table covered. So 20, 4, 28. Nine. That's good. Nine. Lost. Click continue. Red. Nine. Nine. Thirty-four. Please place Ten. your bets. Nine thirty-four. Ten. One number either side. This is bets three pounds closing. sixty. Three pounds sixty profit. No more bets, please. Yeah. So nine thirty-four and ten. Boom, 17's a win, second spin win, click one, £3.60. I've got 661.72 in the balance, Please click continue. Congratulations, bets. profit and stop. Statistics, I just made 43.20 on this, but I also made another £9, bets I think, on closing. the five reds, five blacks gameplay, which will take it up to £50 profit. No bets, I got profit in every gameplay that I played. I did negative progression on the first table, flat rate on the second, I think. Or did I do negative? Oh no, I've done negative on the second. Flat rate on the third. I did a double up on the last 32. spin, on the spin number 10 on Red. the previous table. Please and I've just done 20 pence flat rate on this one. So, look at where I'm getting my wins. Five spins, bets six spins, one closed. spin, ten spins, two spins. Usually within six spins or less, that's where the hits no come from, bets, when please. a table's playing. That was the Balance Builder Roulette tool. If you want to know more about this tool, you go to my website, which is roulette profitandstop.co.uk uh, to find out more information. Thanks again for your time. Three, I hope you're enjoying the red. content. If you are, don't forget to hit subscribe Please and give it a thumbs up. See you again soon.